Welcome back to part six of my Takeda campaign. Shogun 2 Total War. We continue where we left things off last time. Start of a new week of streams. Probably going to be doing two episodes today and then another three or four episodes streamed and recorded over on Thursday. Uh, glad to see so many of you enjoying it both live and the recording and edit up on YouTube. Hope you continue to enjoy. Thanks everyone for all the advice, tips and tactics. I'm continuing to read through them and try and implement them as often as I can. Kicking things off today... We are going to march towards Kaga, although we need to deal with Etchu. So we are going to take out as many as we can from Noto before it gets too upset, which I'm assuming let's go to start with by leaving two archers and two Yarishgaru behind. Okay, they need one more. Although this will be their first turn where they're unhappy. So actually, we should be able to get away with that. I lie, though, because it's actually happier than we think, than we think because of the Sekatori. And I was actually planning on just bringing my army into Etchu. So that that would sort that out. So I'm going to need a fair few more here for a turn. I mean, let's move let's move you across here. That's now minus three. Going down to a non-clan religion. Actually. So it will go down by two next turn. So it only needs one more unit in there right now. Etchu is now happy on plus one. So let's pull... Um, got four archers. Yeah, another Yari Ashigaru. Go back. They'll still be unhappy, but it will go to. It should go to zero next turn if I've calculated that right. And you guys march through it. No. Oh, balls. Okay. You guys march through there, but you went the wrong way. That's fine. I had just split up my daimyo. Right. That's fine. That's fine. And if yeah, you're still minus two. Fine. Can we hit it from next turn? Yeah, I think we can. That was nearly a mistake. Thanks, pathfinding, changing at the last moment. Not like I just got that all set up. Loads of things to build, like getting the sake dens and what have you, but I really just want to save another turn and upgrade Kai's fortress. You guys were saying be aware, though, that that is going to consume more food. We are currently at positive one food surplus, so that's fine. Uh, we don't really want to keep changing up our taxes anymore because we don't want to keep hitting the, um, the uh, growth of our provincial wealth. And what have you. Um, our economic growth anymore. So we leave that. Ninja, I'm going to send you down here. So I can see what's going on with the Hojo and these guys. And Metsuke. I'm going to pop you in here again. Oversee the settlement. Because yeah, I'm... Okay, the Hojo have got a fleet to harass theirs. They've got an army there. Because how are you guys... Have you not made progress? I mean, I think you've been really screwed over by the fact that you had a rebellion here and you lost... Um, Izu, which I think I should be fine next turn. I don't think it's been negative for too many turns, so we should be okay. If there's a rebellion, should be able to deal with it. Uh, someone was saying we had a beautiful wife and a courtesan on my on my air. Just a beautiful wife, that's all we've got. And um, that's a uh, Kenjutsu master. It's all fine. You to do my monk. I'm going to send you all the way up here because I want to discover the Date and also just have a good mooch around what's going on in the north. So have a have a nice little wonder, mate. Discover what's occurred in. Because, yeah, I think we are going to want to push up here and secure everything to the east and to the north first. Because then when Realm Divide does kick off, which may well be around the time we've got all of that, then at least we've got our, our eastern and uh, northeastern flank fully secure. Uh, and it'll be the Imagawa whether they turn where they turn on us or where they stay loyal. If they stay loyal, that would be ideal because it essentially means all of our enemies are going to be going through the Imagawa first. We can wait for them to get wiped out and then counterattack hard. That's my thought. Or, you know, we use the opportunity of the Imagawa holding that line to then launch some ships with armies to strike, I don't know, around. But yeah, we could easily gobble up all the Imagawa territory by letting it get gobbled first and then counterattacking hard. Letting them take the initial hit. Uh, move on Kaga and grab that. I also want to get Sado. So once we once this army's taken Kaga, sort out the area, move on Sado. I do also want to get the Naganata Samurai, which, yeah, loads of you guys were ranting and raving how nice they are. as kind of jack of all trades, but also pretty capable, whatever you throw them up against. So that's good. Um, yeah, we don't need to do anything else there. Are you guys happy? You are. I'm going to take the Yareshigari then. Um, yeah, and pop you in there. Replace the daimyo. Intent. Hojo 
Going into the trees for an ambush. Mounting on rest in Noto. Oh, it's still minus two. Oh, uh, was, it, was it increasing actually, non clan religion? <coughs> that is on the way out, though. That is going down. Yeah. What's the growth so much? Other. Discontent. Oh, right, okay. We could do that, which doesn't make a huge impact, so I think I might do that just temporarily. Where else are we? Yeah, we've got this one. Exempt as well. Can we unexempt you one more turn and you would actually be fine? So yeah, we should be able to exempt you. You are fine. But that's because the daimyo is there. If I take him away, you guys are perfectly balanced. So in fact, you guys can come along with the army here. In we go. Ooh, Ikoiki Naganata warrior monks. Damn. Continue the siege. Chuck my daimyo in there as well. And give you these as well. I really want to fight an offensive siege, but I also know how bad that would go for us and how many casualties we take. Although here they've got no archers, so I should just, they don't have any towers, so I should just be able to shoot them for a while. The gate's also open. What do you reckon, Twitch chat? Fight it or just take the safe order resolve? Okay, Twitch want me to fight this one, and I'm quite happy that they do. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to do a quick save here. We're going to order resolve it, see what the order result gives us, then reload and fight it and see if we can... Hopefully not do too much worse. I don't think we'll do better because the order resolve is pretty stellar in Shogun 2. We're not going to lose any... Okay, we are losing some. I was like, please don't say it's going to be one of those sieges where I don't lose anyone. Yeah, we're losing quite a few. Okay, if we order resolve, we lose 333. That is the number to beat. Let's reload. And fight it. The only reason I'm really kind of considering it is because I can see they've got no archers. They're monks. What's the worst they could do? Pray on us. Last words of a proud daimyo. Yeah, probably. Right, the gates are also open. So, let's try it. Oh, no, 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 no. No drop it. Why Why was drop in battle there? The boxer wasn't even there to check. What the heck? <laughs> I think we'd even disable that for this. I feel like the game's worried. It's concerned I'm going to beat it, so it's like, now we'll find a human player to mess him up. Remember that the goal here is to capture the castle. Yeah, not destroy not it. Destroy I mean, it already looks pretty destroyed. Victory, either kill or run oh, they do actually have an archery tower. We can shoot that, though, can't we? The central keep. Oh, yeah, it is in ruins because it was a, it was attacked by... I mean, it's, it's been taken over by rebels. That's why it's in poor state. Actually, this is really good because they're even if they had archers, their hoarding's all gone here. It's in a proper state. So the drop-in still work. I believe the drop-in battles still work. Oh, I think the main thing is from the first five episodes that I did on this, which I pretty much record, well, streamed recorded back to back, essentially, with very minimal break in between, so I didn't get a chance to read too many tactics. The main thing was a lot of people saying, Lionheart, when you don't need them to be uh, your Yarishgaru in um, Yari Wall Formation, don't put them into it like right at the start of a battle and then sit them in it because uh, it drains their stamina. So they get fatigued just sitting around in it. So only put them into it when you actually, like, very quickly need them to then be in Yari Ashigaru. Um, spear wall, Yari, Yari wall. So thanks for the top tip. Right. We've got that tower. That I don't actually, what's the range on the tower? Because I can set it on fire.
Oh, they've got they've got two towers there. Okay, I mean I can shoot them with my my flaming shot and burn it. something very atmospheric about Shogun 2 battles. I think it is because they all have the little the little banners on their backs. It's a lot of red dye. You always think like uh surely being a dyer would uh, net you a, a tasty bit of bit of cash in this in you know some of these games. Roaring trade. I need uh, 4,000, um, like, you know, banners and sets of armor all dyed this one color, please. Probably going to shoot these guys, which have decided to sit outside. You sillies. One thing I just wish this game had was like left click and drag that the newer Total Wars have. It's such a good little quality of life improvement. I'm like, I just want to move the whole formation forward easily. But I can't. It's Rome 2 that was the first to add it in, but that was Al Alt and left click and drag, and they. Uh, no, sorry, it was just left click and drag and then they added in alt and left click and drag because far too easy to accidentally left click and drag a unit. Go arch go. Bring him doon, bring him doon. You know, the wealth of a daimyo was measured by how much rice his lands produced. The agricultural yield of the territories was considered their most empowering asset. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got it in this one like you do in Napoleon. You can use those. That's true. Yeah, I forget about that. It's um, slightly more prominent in... Uh, in uh, Napoleon. It's actually, is it? What's the shortcut for that? Move forward. Oh, is it? It's that. Ah, I might have to use that a bit more. I actually never realized that that was a thing. I'm glad they changed the left alt click and drag though. It's definitely a mark to improve. Let's try using that now though. Do forward your go. Nice. Okay. I wish I could see the range of that tower. I'm just going to take my time though and shoot him from a distance. Uh, could you reassign it if it's a hotkey? I honestly don't know. Uh, controls. Battle. Step unit group forward. No, I can't. Oh, well, I, can, I can rebind it to a different key, but I can't change it to like left click and drag as such. Unfortunately. Thank you. 
So we use fire arrows as well. Go on, get him. I'm sure it still happens now under certain scenarios, probably when you've got loads more units using flaming arrows. It definitely drops the FPS a fair bit, but I remember when Shogun 2 first came out, the moment you had a battle with flaming arrows, the FPS just absolutely tanked. But I think we're getting to a point where we can just kind of brute force our way through optimization issues of older titles with just newer hardware that's just able to apply more raw power, processing power to it. Definitely need to take out the Ikoiki Naganata warrior monks. Yeah, how many, how much ammo do my bows have? Quite a bit still. I'm just going to let them pick off these guys a little bit longer and then we will focus on the Naganata ones or they'll just, they'll re redirect to be honest because they're pretty much the only thing in, in range. Here it comes. I don't quite like the sound effect of arrows hitting units in this, but I think the impacts they have are quite satisfying. I feel like it needs a, a deeper thwack. blood on the screen. Have I watched Blue Eye Samurai? I have not. My lord! A glorious victory will soon be yours! Oof. Wrecked. Always love that you've got the like the, the beacon is lit in the background. Showing they're under attack. That's cool. You can see it all the way along the map. I feel like the, the, the smoke effects in this, maybe not the fire effect itself, but the smoke effects, quite nice. They all just gone, the warrior monks. Oh, no, there's 42 of them left there. Archers, just do your thing. I could probably just sit back and watch them do this for days. Very satisfying. I think the main, main effect in this is well over the top is the uh, the uh, blood effects. It just literally like pours out of them when it hits them. It just erupts out of them. Big spray. Actually, was it? I think it was, was it the Warhammer games that the first ones actually introduced a slider for blood effects. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do it earlier. I mean, you could use mods that dialed it down a bit. That's actually potentially something maybe I should have used for this. I don't mind it. It's on Netflix. Very good. Okay. Just love that. It's just a steady stream of arrow fire. I mean, yeah, Shogun 2, the first one, the first uh, Total War game with actual bowstring animations. Needs to be done by CA, I should say, because Third Age adds it in for, or Divide and Conquer adds it in for Medieval 2. I wonder if we'd ever get, like, actual um, arrow quivers, and, like, you could actually see them taking them out and then at least, I mean, you see them string them here and then fire, but they just pull them out of their butts. But yeah, you got absolutely wrecked. Oh, it's the Naganata Warrior Monks. They've come back. Catch a falling arrow. And shove it in your pocket. 
You're all going to die today. Move forward a bit more. All right, we'll get up there in a minute. Press the attack. Where would you keep your arrows? Well, not up my butt. Medieval 2 couldn't afford to waste too much graphics power on high polygon models. Well, I mean, at the time they were as they were as capable as the kind of the hardware of the day, really. Um, adding bowstrings in, at least from the mods that I've seen that do it, doesn't add any substantial strain to the to the system or to the game, really. I think it was probably just a you know something they hadn't really thought about doing, or the cost of doing it wasn't wasn't worth doing it. Or likely the fact that probably at the time, very few, probably the vast majority of people playing the games wouldn't be playing at maximum kind of graphics. So even if they did add it in, it probably wouldn't be, it'd be an option that people might turn off to save a little bit of computing power. Probably just not worthwhile doing. And to be honest, until it's pointed out to you, it's probably not something that you notice. Why is the AI just sitting there getting wrecked? Um, because the, I mean, it's probably a tough choice of what it was. It's got no archers. In this case, it probably should try and charge them out, but it knows it's got the settlement to hold and defend. Uh, it also knows that it has uh, unbreakable morale all the while it's in this settlement. If they sallied on out, they would just break probably before they got to us or as they engaged. I think it's just one of the situations where the AI is just like, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to stay put because... I've got no missile troops. If it had missile troops, it'd probably be a bit of a different story. We run out of ammo yet? Yes. Apart from you two. Oh, there we go. Okay. Time to go get them. You guys still firing. Yeah, we got really lucky they didn't have any missile troops in this. Yeah, we could climb the walls, but there's no point because we'll, we'll lose some of our troops climbing because they'll fall down. Whereas going in the gates, we won't lose anyone on the actual ascent up. One of our units has used all its ammunition, my lord. People were just thrilled to have 3D models back in medieval suit. Yeah, pretty much. Was it like Rome Rome 1? They didn't actually have feet. Like they just had like little stumps. Little, little feety sticks. Nah, I can't put you guys into Yari Wall. That's unfortunate. Get them, lads. Break him. Nice. 
Nice. Squish him. Capture the square. Good finish. Skewered. Bada bing, bada boom. Right, 333 was the order resolve result. Have we done better? Yeah, the match combat's very satisfying. Well, 175 was worth fighting. There we go. I mean, they had no archers. Beautiful. That was nice. Uh, Peace Rock we don't get anything because it's already in ruins. Ooh, we are now prominent. National renown. Our exploits are talked on the uh, of the length and breadth of Japan. The name of our daimyo is on everyone's lips, uttered with awe and fear in equal measure. It will not be long before the shogun decides to act against us. We must prepare ourselves for this eventuality. So it begins. Too fair, you had no cavalry. That's why the casualties were lows. Uh, every time. Um, Jodo Shinsu Temple. Oh, Iko Iki. Yeah, that needs to get gone archie dojo here i think that can also get gone for now we need to repair that although uh, i don't want to do that just yet because we want to get that upgraded yeah. you guys are going to be fine all while my army is there so it's going to, have to take a, a little bit of time chilling How's the comments got that? Has it got the oh it's got the blacksmith. Uh, in which case we might want the archery archery dojo then. Although not for Smith. Isn't there a uh isn't there something for archers making them better? Ah, Fletcher Artisans. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Need to look, see where that might... If it, is it, anyone know where the nearest Fletcher is for me? Uh, in which case, yeah, we get rid of that and build a melee infantry school or something okay um get some archers there yeah i want to pick those guys up so i want to take all the fair ones through dare attack me otherwise big big trouble it shouldn't be though right 
Um, Ninja is just chilling here. Tsuke is trying to help improve things over here, right? Over time. Settlement overseeing. Magistrate. Yep. Ba, 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 ba. Send me a monk on a wander. Here you go. Lovely. How much do I need for ships? Oh, I can, oh, I can get a trade ship. Let's, let's get a trade ship because then we could go. I guess we could go up here and see if that's occupied or not. We could always use the trade ship to throw over there. We can also go. No, we've got another military port here. So, is this one a military port as well? Uh, improved irrigation. I feel like is this to potentially be a trading port instead. So, I'm going to destroy that one and make it a trading port. Keep that one as our military one for now because we've also got the warehouses there. Or is that better for trading come? Tariffs only. Red Seal Company. Crew recruits. Okay, that, that works out for being a military port. Yeah, that's fine. Have we got any objectives or mission bonus missions? Nope. Okay. You guys are all right there. Not if I take him out. Alrighty then, we need to start getting some cavalry as well because we're a cavalry faction with no no cav in our armies right now. That's how we keep them safe. Don't recruit them. Can't hurt them if they're not recruited. This unarmed ship should be used solely for trade. If caught up in battle, its best plan of attack is flight. Okay, yeah. Oh, hello. Aren't you the ones that hold this one? Yeah, look at that. Oh, hello. The Date discovered. They've got a full army. This could work though if we've got an army outside. Attack that one, it will draw them out as well. Fight them in the field. Ah, we found the Ashkaga Shogunate. So, um, yeah. Kyoto. Date. I mean, I'm planning on going after you next. You guys allied to the Ashkaga Shogunate. We could try and trade with you. An unexpected meeting may, with hindsight, turn out to be welcome. Let us see what happens here. Hmm. Okay. Very big. Yeah, let's just go with 6k now. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to end up at war with you when I go to war with the Date. Or you guys to get to the Date. Thanks for the cash, though. Right. Um... Yeah, you need... I mean, I probably need to upgrade you. We've got to think about food, though, as well. Gunpowder mastery, yeah, it would be nice. But I probably need to go for equal fields too.
consumes more food. Um, we'll be careful because I know we've got this one on the upgrade already. I get both of those going. Get the katana samurai there, repair that, and also get that in there. And then I'm going to get rid of that here. I need to go for equal fields, really, if I want to upgrade like everything else around here. Do, do, do. Off you go. Um, let's start getting medium bunei and bow kabaya. Probably butchering the pronunciation of that. Loads of you were saying as well, it's not Usegi, but I've, I've done saying it. I'm, you know, they're wiped out now. They're gone. Don't have to worry about saying that wrong anymore. <laughs> Apart from right there. Right, yeah, that's all we need to do on those. Good, good, good. Where's Mr. Monk? Up you go. I forget what the triangle is of who's good against who. But we'll keep wandering. Off we go. Yeah, you guys need to stay here. Uh, improved irrigation, very fertile soil. Three times base value of farming income. Wow, that's, that's good. I love it. It breaks down what it's all coming in from different values. Um, let's go see Kyoto. That's the Chicago Shogunate. So is that the current Shogun then, I assume? And his son and heir. Got enough Yari Samurai there, guys. We've got Citadel. Monastery Archie Dojo. Yeah, you're well, well equipped. Okay. Every time they move, I'm always a little bit wary when they go near my settlements. I know they're my allies, but they're a wee bit scary. I'm like, where are you going? What are you doing? Capable of reducing enemy ships to dust. Nice. Trade. Well, that's that's where I'm headed. The trade node. I'm assuming there's somebody already on it. We discovered the Hojo there. Like what what are you like why aren't you guys pushing on one another? I mean I guess I might that might be the, the next thing to build on is go and take this. If the Hojo aren't gonna act on it. But yeah, we need to spend a good few turns doing some economic development. Uh, what we're going to do here is build a market. And we need to put, go down here, didn't we? So we want to get... We've got the sword school in there. Not 100% sure why I've left that in there, but we'll leave it in there for now. Um, yeah, mark it in here and get the sake den in next time as well. Was our growth down? Tax level. Yeah, you guys probably want to upgrade and get a market in there or something like that to help out. Um, we should probably get some cavalry, but I think I'm just going to try and save up for the fire cav. Oh, actually, you know, that's what we're going to pop in. We're going to pop in the encampment so we can do the proving grounds and then get our fire cav. 
I'll leave him out for a turn in case he gets the eye for a ladies thing. Trait. I think it's like a good four or five turns if you leave him in there. Take him out as well. My daimyo moves out enough. It shouldn't really be too much of a threat. We'll take them all out here. non clarification minus two. Currently going to minus three. It's actually on the rise. Okay, I might need... Where did I get my monk from? Ah, uh, here. Maximum number of monks already hit. That increases the number of monks. Each bridge chain building enables you to stay in one digital uh, monk. Okay. I need that one. Essence of spirit. Okay, I might just have to build in here instead. Um... Filled up all those slots now. That's going to come down, but that's just going to increase over time. Oh, look, well, that's all. I didn't realize it was. Whoa. Yeah, I didn't realize it was. Sorry, so high. It is on the way down. I thought it was the other way around then for a minute, reading that. Shinto Buddhism is on the way out, but it's going to take a while. Eco Iki's down. Okay, I might need my monk to come back then, actually. And what we'll do is we'll send him a ninja up here instead. I'm going to pop you into a ship and bring you down quicker. Yep. Leave you there, Mr. Ship. And get another medium bunei in. Lovely. Ha ha. Good, good, good. All looking fine. In turn. That uh, trade is definitely going to be occupied. They're going to be going to be full of other ships. Thanks, uh, Dandelion Fuzz. Appreciate it. It is indeed a beautiful game. With speed, maneuverability, and strength, this ship has many uses. However, its versatility makes it less effective than more specialized ships. Mounting unrest in Kaga. Ooh, here we go. Um, oh, what? Tatsumi's warning. My lord, the monks speak of a gathering of great turtles upon our shores and believe this to be a sign sent by uh, Wata Tatsumi. Uh, they fear ominous tides and beseech you to honor the sea god. We will arrange um, Kumatsuri in all provinces that sit upon um the waters see to it that no expense is spared the preparations of these rites and festivities so 1500 we lose but we gain compassion of the buddha converts populace to buddhism plus one religious zeal succeeds that's that's worth it yeah that's gonna really help speed things up here yeah oh you know what? i didn't mean to leave that army out <laughs> i was like that's why it's so upset um But I do want to get that army moving, so can I... Not yet. I mean, I can throw in more troops, but it's going to keep on rising, isn't it? To us, while we've got that up there. I just exempt them. For a little bit. That'll free up this force, which I would prefer to do. That's still fine. How are you guys doing? Okay, I can exempt you now. Resistance to invaders, minus three going down to two. That's all good. Um, It's all good. Stop putting up a reasonable force. Chuck you back in. Pop you back in. Pop you guys back in. And this one, got the market going in. Suck it in, yep. Because then I can free you guys back up here. 
as well. Um, we should be able to get more cavalry next turn, I think. Well, that is a unit of cav in there. Let's steal you. And bring you north. I mean, I'll steal the bow cav, actually, when they're fully replenished. I want to get some Naganata Samurai, don't I? <clears throat> As well. So we're getting another one. And we're going to get another one of those. Lovely. You guys don't know what to do anymore, the Imagawa, do you? How are you feeling about me? Plus 84. Very friendly. Um, you are just at war with these guys. So I'm surprised your army's not moving through towards them. You'd probably like it when I go to war with them. Which is... What I'll be doing once I take Sado. I'm not, not Russian. Does Realm Divide kick off when it goes all the way to the end, our fame? Or is it like... It feels like it would it would kick off when we get it to about the last, you know, three quarters full. Because I feel like we're only like one warning away. But maybe it is all the way to the end. Maybe we're only halfway through. Yeah, I feel like that's why we've been moving our generals out the last turn. I think it's if they sit there for more than four plus turns, there's a there's a percentage chance of it appearing. Um, I mean, if it, if it happens, it happens. To be honest, I've had it happen in most of my campaigns. And I've never found it to be too detrimental, to be honest. Um, but yeah, every every like four four plus ish turns, take them out for a turn. That kind of resets it, at least as far as I'm aware. Three more turns left on that, because uh, ideally we want to go to the gunpowder mastery, but we should start going for equal fields and things like that. In fact, we're not going to go for that straight away. So you know what? Um, that's such we got we got the increased bonus still. Mm, nope. Let's switch to equal fields now because I need to upgrade my farms for a better surplus. Lovely. What's the trait? Uh, it's called Eye for, Eye for the Ladies. I can't remember what it actually does. Oh, Lewis says it. it's minus 7% campaign map movement range. Yeah. I mean, if you can avoid it, like, you never really want to take a hit to your movement range because it's always good having more. Trait gained. Ah, there we go. Oh, so that, that do does not reset it then. Jumping out for a turn and going back in. Or did I not take him out? Maybe I didn't take him out. Just as we're talking about it, in it pops. But you're going to have it if you have characters that are focused on, like, managing your settlements, I guess. <coughs> Crazy timing. There we go. It was just, it was, it popped up to, to explain the trait. Well, he's got it now, so it can't hurt him any further. Also, what's the lottery numbers for today? <laughs> Alright, we've got the Warhorse Stables now. Which means if we could go for the other oh, to cut um Katana Cavalry, but we need the Sword School. Yari Cavalry, we need the Yari Drill Yard. Well, that charge right is 32. That's insane. So the Fire Cavalry... Uh, almost as good on the charge as Yari Cav, but they're better in melee attack. Melee defense isn't great, though, but then none of them have great defense. Seems like these guys are almost like a hybrid. They're good shock troops for their charge, but they can also... You could also send them after other melee cav. Non-shock cav. Fairly reasonably. That's quite nice to fire cav. They are more expensive, though, but still. They are shiny, unique unit. So let's have some. Um, but we need the pastures, don't we, for that? Um, oh, that gives us more time growth, having better roads. Better roads. I've got all that in there. What have you got? you got the rice exchange that consumes one food. Mm -hmm. Buddhist temple. Now going to have to worry monks. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be lovely. They can be exempt now. 
you're not going to be able to be exempt. Not yet, anyway. And let's upgrade that to help out a little bit, maybe. Not yet. Blacksmith. I'll probably go for weaponsmithing. Let's go for the trade port instead. And what we got? We got two and two. What else have we got? Um... <laughs> Stat wise, they're no different to a medium bune. But they'll be able to, oh, their morale slightly higher. Maneuverability slightly higher. Um go on then, let's let's have one of them and another one of those. Treat ourselves to a bit of a navy. I assume there's somebody on here. Oh, it said that it was over here, but it's actually over there. You're not going to be trading, though, because it needs to be a trade ship, guys. Um, but you've stopped me from taking it. I'll just chill here, though, for now. Think. Yo. So anyway, to see how much more the Mitsuke is adding to the town. Oh, he increases the tax rate. That's what he does. From 20% to 33. That's what he does. Yeah, I was wondering if he did anything else. Like, but that's it. Tax rate. Cool. Yeah, we definitely want more of them. Um... Is it every market that we build we can increases our yeah up to a maximum of five noise okay well i think i can probably get away with taking all of you guys out oh no not quite got that wrong well you're getting both of those in so that should actually help Minus two still. Yeah, that's fine. Move you up here. Lovely. Got the turn there. Good, good, good. Mr. Monk, you are going to go jump in these ships, please. And my ships are going to bring you down here. Help convert stuff. And ninja. Up you go. See, yeah, continue prepping ourselves here. They're, they, they're building up for like two full stack armies. So the only way we're going to beat that is with superior troops. That's why I want to get Naganata Samurai and some Bow Samurai for sure. Ah, damn, they swapped over, but I couldn't get that in there. Factions moved away. So I guess if I stay there long enough, I might get a chance to go in. I bet the AI will just constantly cycle. You guys are getting ready to attack. Oh, they actually, you have actually gone in there. There's the only problem. The Imagawa are going to like come in half. Oh, great. My ninja got converted. Well, thanks for stealing. Yeah, the Imagawa are going to cut through. They've taken Fukushima. I mean, it's all fine unless they turn on me during Realm Divide. Sado, and then I guess we start going to war over here. How about another monk to help convert? I can't get another monk without another Buddhist building. Hence why I have not got one yet. You got a trade ship? No. Okay. There's another one up over here, but I imagine that's covered. Yeah, it's all these guys, the navies. All... Whoa. Yeah, you'll be up there. We want to drop you off via the port, ideally. Then you'll be able to move further. Okay, bring you in. 
All right, you should be yeah able to help convert that much quicker, which is good. That's going from minus five to minus six. But resistance to invaders is dropping as well. There's Aork. We'll go into that next turn. So I've got my cavalry. Right, we can now get the encampment, which can then go to the proving grounds. Oh. Oh, that's because I right-clicked. My bad. Encyclopedia be a bit derpy. Yeah, proving grounds. To, 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 to charge both for cavalry. Got that. That combined with this being upgraded, the horse breeze for more charge is going to be insane. So yeah, proving grounds. Or encampment, then proving grounds, and then we can get our fire cav. F -f 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 fire cav. Uh, right, I want to start getting Naganata Samurai, please. Anyone that we can trade with, or anyone wants to trade? You guys are going to go to war with, though. Also, you guys I'm going to go to war with, because if the Hojo aren't going to take you, I'm going to take you. So, you know what? Have some cav. Although, actually, don't recruit the caveat. No, no, no. Wait until they've got their bonus charge. And from here, we should recruit some katanas. Oh, you can get a Mitsuke. Yeah, definitely in there. Um, boom. Pop you in next turn. We'll take from 20% to 33%. Lovely. Or maybe not quite, because I assume it's uh, increasing with the... the skills that we're leveling up cool right let's do one more in turn for this episode and then we'll uh, end things for an episode for those watching this on youtube there's on twitch though we will be doing another episode straight after this fairly chill one after all those mad battles to establish our foothold and expand on out that's been pretty chill but we should have a battle next episode where we take sado okay our trade's been disrupted um urban migration the uncertainty of harvest and the increasing profitability of life of the artisan is driving people away from the land into the towns we can go for prosperity plus 10 uh, per turn to town growth across all provinces or, or agrarian toil plus 25 percent wealth generated by farms across all provinces i feel like Agrarian toil will give us short-term boost to our income for the next few turns and a nice sizable boost, but long-term prosperity plus 10 town growth, that's quite nice. So I'm going to go encourage migration because that's plus 10 to all. Just, yeah, puts everyone in the positive, which will be very helpful. Okay. Uh, has anyone left that trade? No, they're still on it. Dang it. Trying to, trying to snap it. Um, all right, let's end things by just popping this chap in here and seeing how much that goes up to. Oh, 23%. Ah. And he went up a little bit. So, yeah, we need to level him up. So, he just needs to chill here for a little bit, gain some XP, and then pop him into overseeing. And that should make him a lot more effective. Anyway, that is where we're going to wrap things up for today. Those watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.